Hello guys, my name is Michael Myers, I'm 21 years old, I'm a full-time Shopify developer. In this video you will see the basics of Shopify store, like how to open a store if you don't have it, how to open a partner account if you don't have it, how to customize your team, how to change settings of your store and stuff like that. Also, I show you how to change uh, language on your store. If you don't have a Shopify account, you need to go to shopify.com and click the start free trial button and fill these fields and click on create your store. If you want to work with Shopify as a developer, you have to go to shopify.com slash partners and click on join now and fill all these fields. I already have a Shopify partners account and here's my stories. First story is Moik, he's about development and I'm just enable the Shopify markets preview feature here. And the second story is also development. If you're a developer, you don't have a paid plan. If you want to open a Shopify store, you will have a plan. Okay, this is my store. If you want to go to your admin panel, just write admin slash admin in the search bar and you will see that admin panel is opened. So here you have setup guide and some guides and tips from Shopify for you. Okay, go to online store. And here is the themes that you have in this store. You, if you don't have any themes here, you can explore free themes and visit theme store that can sell this and another themes for you. Go to actions and here you have preview, rename, duplicate, download theme file and edit code. Also, you can edit languages if you have a multi-language feature on your store. If you are not familiar with Shopify, you can go to customize. And here is a team editor that you can just rearrange blocks and section and move sections away or move sections. I don't know, just, just move sections. And here you can add some block, for example, yeah, button. And you can just change the label on it high or click on me so it is the section in the section you can see blocks in, sh in blocks you can see the contents of the block <laughs> yeah this is a header it will be the same on other pages too and here's the theme settings of your store or of your header the global theme settings is here there you, you can see the colors, primary colors, accent color, and just secondary colors and stuff like that. Here's typography and layout, buttons, variant pills, inputs, cards, media, drop downs, drawers, badges, and a whole bunch of settings here. So also you can change the currency format here. But about the currency, we'll, we'll talk later. You need to understand that after you open your Shopify store, go to settings, and here's the store details that you can fill. Is basic information about your store name, legal name of company, your store industry, and your address, contact information, store currency and standard and formats, and just plan, as I said, development stores don't have plan, and billing, and just users and permissions is the important thing here. You can add stuff here if you have members or people who work with you, or freelance freelancers that just i don't know you have an idea to change some section or to add section just to customize the store and uh, you, you you don't have to give your owner account you just can add staff just put the first name put the email and choose what feature you can add to a guy who can who, who will work with the website that's nice so payments i, I think you understand it's just payments you will acti you activate it on your store okay checkout is the next setting and here you will see a customer accounts okay first don't use accounts uh, that means that customers don't need to create an account on your store to buy products and second is accounts are optional that means customer can create accounts or check out as guests and the first setting is accounts are required that means that customers must create an account to buy a product on your store 
and see in here you can see a customer information this full name company name is it required or it's optional address line 2 optional or required or just don't include that it's about apartment unit and shipping address phone number tipping if you have a restaurant or another service you can set a tip options i don't have it so just order the processing and there's another settings here okay let's go on shipping and delivery if you have a delivery you can set in your delivery here okay is taxes and duties oh, yes exactly if you have taxes and duties you can set up and change it here here is your location or locations you can use uh, up to eight locations by my plan check your plan and yeah okay gift cards if you have gift cards you can i don't know send your friend here is markets your primary market and other markets and uh, just countries and regions you don't sell to you can just set up here in markets here is your sales channels if you have uh, another sales channel like ebay or facebook or another sales channel just add it here if you have just online store okay here is your domains you can connect existing domain or like custom domain if you have it notifications about order confirmations shipping local delivery and just about a whole bunch of stuff okay here is meta fields if you have custom meta fields you can add it like um, i don't know re reviews or something like that here is the files you will see here all images and media uploaded like images videos documents yes and here is the languages if you have a one language store you will see only one language a default is english if you have another languages or more than one add a language go to french click add publish it so now we need to go to markets click manage on your primary market go to domains and languages is the first one and here we can see our primary language is english that can be opened by our index shopify url and here you can see the french language that can be opened by slash fr handle okay click on french go to customize go to footer and here you will see a language selector put it on and in the footer you will see the language selector as well and also you can enable country region selector if you wish and go to our store just refresh the page and you can see that in the footer it is a language selector we go to francais and here it is here our french store this is how you can add more languages to your store if you have done it's okay and it's kind of more easier than if you have another teams uh, if you have themes from shopify i mean not, not, not only done the next step is go to settings and policies you can create a refund policy privacy policy terms of service and shipping policy just one click create from template and here it is you can see that policy is created and all you need is just to add it for your needs privacy policy is the same and in terms of service too and the shipping policy is for your needs if you have any shipping policy of course and that's it here's your themes here's your blog posts if you have it you can create blog posts just put the title here welcome and here is welcome to our store you can see the seo is managed here when i'm typing something it is typing here yes you can just preview the search engine listen preview here is the visibility of your blog post here is a featured image here is the organization and here is a template of your blog post if you have any template this is by default because i don't ha i don't uh, i don't have any blog post templates okay go to save and publish it okay you can view 
for you on our online store and here it is welcome to our store we can share it and just back to blog here is our blog page news page and go to pages here's your pages you can add page by clicking add page um, you can create any pages you want here you use your team template and uh, in the next videos i will talk about templates and all this stuff okay we have only one template it's contact template and done go to navigation and here's your navigation menu main menu is the main menu that we have in, in our header is a home catalog and contact footer menu is a storage bar here okay we can just disable it or we can disable it through our admin panel that we have here just go to here info and you can see that we have a menu picked here you can change it to main menu just save to see what we have oh stop is it here wait where the menu oh search are it okay yes the search is here not not here you can disable this subscribe to our emails feature i think here yes show email sign up and here it is you don't have an email sign up but i think it's it's cool also you have filters here filters are located in collection page here is a default collection you can run from it from your store here just page from page okay here is our collection page we don't have any products here by the way you can see the sort by here and filter mm, okay i have to create one product okay go to products add product here you can put the title of your product like moik and description of your product like description here is media um, now let's i'll find some image on my pc or not do i have any image here okay i have something okay sorry um pricing 555 and here is cost per item that only you can see it's sku let's go with aa 12 here's a location name you can put the quantity on your oh here is a location name sorry you can put the quantity of this product in the location or it will be I don't know, 100 this is a physical product on art shaping or now shaping feature for that functions function oh, what i'm talking about so collections let's go to home page collection and just tags no, i don't have any tags here is a barcode and you can continue selling when out of stock okay you can edit website seo here here is the url handle for your product you can change it and as you can see i will change it here right here there's no changes that's kind of cool here's our product we can go to our collection page our catalog and see that wait oh okay just change the product status to active <laughs> to show your product on the store and here we have moik for 555 canadian dollars we can change the quantity add to cart or buy it now here is our product description here is some cool things here and we can share it with our friends or family or it doesn't matter with who let's check how filters work and you can see a filter here if you don't have any products the filter is hidden we can just put the price here and kind of that's our filter is it's availability and price and we can add more filters here like product type and vendor if you have any brand on your store any brand products i mean you can see the availability here too and we need just to refresh the page one more time or one more time maybe now yes here we have here we have a brand okay availability you can see in stock or out of stock and you can reset price you can change the price like to 554 and as you can see no products found of course because we have 555 and myers llc is my brand and i have only one product for that and here you can see that's it just kind of 
basics of Shopify or and I also forget about preferences about the Shopify store. Okay, here's your preferences. You can put the homepage title here and homepage meta description here. Here you, you will see the social sharing image and Google Analytics, which is all about SEO and password from your store. And of course, uh, Google Recapture is going by default on any Shopify stores. So just don't think that you will not have a spam protection or something like that. You will have it. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Put the like button and write a comment below. I hope I helped you and this video was interesting for you. And guys, English is not my first language. And the reason why I created this channel is to learn speaking and speak more in English because I'm living in non in an art English speaking country so I think you understand me it's kind of hard for me to speak in English but time to time video to video I speak better and better and I hope you understand me